today I wanted to spend some time with you in our kitchen. I feel like a lot of times people think about organizing and they're like, ah, I don't have that kind of money to switch out everything and make it all new and neat and organized. But I think with these tips and these items that I have found from the Dollar Tree, you too can have a simple organized kitchen that looks really nice. I thought to start out it would be helpful to give you an overview or just an imagery of what our fridge looks like. We live in a fifth wheel. So obviously our fridge is not going to be big. The first item I wanna show you that I use specifically in the fridge are these fridge sliding drawers. These are at the Dollar Tree in these two specific sizes. They also have one for eggs. I don't feel like that's really helpful for us as a, as a family of six. We need a little bit more egg storage. So they do offer it, but it wasn't useful to us. But these have been awesome, so anything that can possibly spill or just makes it easier to slide out, we've put in these bins. So just as easy as it was to take them out, I just slide them in. And whenever I need to see what else I have, I can just pull a drawer out and it holds everything in there. It also prevents a lot of spilling because if anything does spill, it's gonna spill onto these. And then as my second proof, the thing I wanna show you are these placemats. These are just table placemats. I got from the Dollar Tree, some of them um, I have cut up to fit into better space size. For the most part, I've just left them the regular size and slid them in and they work great. And this also works in a regular size fridge. Before we moved into the fifth wheel, I actually had it at our other house. So by having those placemats in there, if anything does spill out of the drawers that I originally put in there, then I can have it on the placemat. It's easy to take the placemat out, rinse it off, and put it back in. And it makes it look fun in the fridge instead of plain white. Adds a little pizzazz to your kitchen. Something that I think is a helpful tip is organizing things by category. So for the most part, produce on one shelf, eggs on one shelf, anything in a Tupperware container on another shelf. That way you can always see what needs to be used when you are looking for, say, a tomato, and then you realize, oh, the carrots are looking like it could be time to be used or they're gonna go to waste. Same thing with Tupperware, you know, leftovers. You see you're going for rice, you see something else in the back that you're like, oh, you know, we should finish that up so it doesn't go bad. Here's a tip for the cupboards. Again, just like the fridge, anything that could spill or end up with drizzle on the side, I put in Tupperware. You could get more of those fridge um, drawers like I showed you. I just already happened to have these and never switched them out. And I like these for the cupboard just because being in the fifth wheel, things do tend to move around a little bit more. And so as far as the cupboard goes, I feel like this is a little bit more convenient for us. The third item I want to show you are these baskets. They're super convenient for putting your snacks in. And again, just like the fridge, making it an easy access item to be able to slide in and out without having to dig because otherwise you lose that depth of the shelf and the fridge without having something like this because then you're digging through everything. So we've got it here in as well as in our freezer. I use this one for Otter Pops. This one is more about the size of a paper in the dimensions versus the one in the pantry, which is just a skinny long one. The fourth item I wanna show you are these canisters on our top cupboard shelves. They are three quarts and two quarts. So you see the smaller one with the blue lid in the back and they are just from the Dollar Tree like everything else I'm showing you. And they've been super helpful for all of our dry goods. And it makes it nice that I can just reach in, grab what I need, and then easily place it back. And also, when I do take one out, you can clearly see the other items in the back. And I've labeled them all with dry erase markers so that I know what's inside and anyone else that needs to get into my pantry does too. The fifth item I wanna show you are these shoe bins. And the stickers also are actually from the Dollar Tree labels, stickers, whatever you want to call them. So up top we had some dead space that in a fifth wheel you don't let go to waste. So I bought five shoe bins and labeled them accordingly with just some chalk so that everybody knows what's inside and it's items that I don't want the kids getting into or items that we don't use as often or just a little bit bulkier like water bottles. Sorry about the gym. Number seven on my list are these planter tins. 
these come out at springtime at the Dollar Tree and we've just bolted them to the cupboard, drilled little holes and put bolts through and they have held really well. I'm able to put my slide in without them being bumped and I'm able to leave everything inside of them on moving days. Nothing shifts around. Everything that I've showed you so far in this kitchen stays put. I did put a rubber mat underneath, you know, the little shelf liners underneath uh, the shoe bins up here because one time we did have them slide around, um, but we've been doing this since November and only once have they slid out. And since putting the rubber mat under, we haven't had any problems. So I don't know if that was just that one trip or what, but so far this has all been really helpful and nothing has had to be displaced every time. Okay, number six item are these baskets. And these hold all of our produce and oatmeal bags. Makes it super nice and easy for the kids to grab a fruit in the morning and some oatmeal. And then also a good storage when we have extra potatoes. These are sweet potatoes here and a spaghetti squash. So these have held really nice. We haven't had any problems with them falling. I leave them up when we travel. I don't take any of it down. And it's all been really easy access for everybody and super convenient. And this last item, you'll see some of the baskets that I showed you earlier. This is our pantry. We had a coat closet that we turned into a spice cupboard. So this last item is actually these glass jars. These are at the Dollar Tree and that one's label rubbed off. I, again, I use the dry erase marker just to label what's inside. And then we've stuck them in between these baskets holding other items and they've been really helpful and again, I don't have to worry about any shifting when we drive and hook up the fifth wheel right all around. So I really like this for our spice cup. I hope these items and tips have been helpful for you. Let us know down in the comments below what you prefer to do or what has helped you. Thanks.